In the day's other news, parts of Missouri, including the capital city, are in disaster mode after a barrage of tornadoes. They struck during the night and left death and heavy damage. Amna Nawaz has our report. Twisters darkened the Missouri evening sky. There's a tornado right there, Janie. And after nightfall, lightning strikes and wailing sirens signaled the oncoming danger. Daylight revealed heavy damage in Jefferson City, where the Capitol building was under renovation. A tornado had ripped apart homes and entire neighborhoods, leaving families to dig through the wreckage. At a car dealership, mangled vehicles lay flipped over and rows of new cars sat damaged or destroyed. Carrie Turgan is mayor of Jefferson City. There are many residents who lost their homes, who lost portions of their homes, who had significant damage to their homes. It's been a trying day. It's been hard, and we've had to look at each other and cry and, and, and hug each other and say, you know what, we're going to get through this together. No one was killed in Jefferson City, but 150 miles away in Golden City, a tornado took three lives. Missouri Governor Mike Parson said it could have been even worse. We were very fortunate last night that we didn't have more injuries than what we had. We didn't have more fatalities across the state. Plenty of people doing everything they could to warn people, the general public, to take to safety, and a lot of people did. The severe weather moved in from eastern Oklahoma, where surging flood water tore loose two barges in the Arkansas River. They struck a dam just above the town of Weber's Falls, but the dam remained intact. Not far away, officials in Tulsa warned of more flooding along the river. You should anticipate by the end of the day today the, the water being in your area if you're in Tulsa County. Earlier this week, severe flooding sent homes collapsing into the Cimarron River north of Oklahoma City. Others were left hanging by a thread as the current carved deep into the shoreline. And dozens of tornadoes tore through swaths of the southern plains from Oneida, Kansas to Des Moines, Iowa. All this damage comes after months of severe weather and flooding in the region. And the high waters may be a persistent reality. The U.S. Climate Prediction Center says above average precipitation is likely in the coming weeks. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Amna Nawaz.